my thoughts on people who cannot speak their mother tongue. Hello everybody, it's J Maya C aka Angsty. And today I'm gonna be talking about a topic that is a very close to my heart. A flaw in our society that I have been exploiting through my videos. Alright, so there are many Singaporeans as well as many Malaysians. Okay, uh, some Malaysians, okay? I don't want to get in trouble for saying the wrong thing, okay? Okay, fine. Very little percentage. Very, very, very little people. Okay, that cannot speak their mother tongue well. And there are a lot of people who often judge them, us, for being lousy at it, okay? Well, here is what I think, if you give a damn. Okay, so some backstory. In Singapore, there are four main races. Chinese, Malay, Indians, and uh, Eurasians, aka the forgotten people. Okay, fine, I just made it up. No one says that. But anyway, so although the national language in Singapore is Malay, the most commonly, commonly, English is the most commonly used language. Even though we sound like this. Hey bro, eat it or not? Yeah, eat it. Huh? Hey, hello, you deaf ah? I say I eat already la. Hey, what? You wanna fight, is it? Hey, come la, who scare who, huh? Yes, this is how we speak English, but trust me, we can switch when the time comes. But anyway, so generally in our homes, we usually speak either English or our mother tongues in our homes, okay? Mother tongue consists of uh, Chinese, Malay, Tamil, uh, so on and so forth. And in some cases, other dialects, okay? For the Chinese, we have Hokkien, Cantonese, Hakka, Teochew, and the list goes on and on and on and on. So actually, if you think about it, our dialects is our actual mother tongue. Okay, Chinese is just 普通話, meaning the common tongue, which is just the default mother tongue for all Chinese in school. So my parents, while growing up, spoke their mother tongue in their households. Okay, my dad is Hokkien and my mom is Cantonese. By the way, my parents are from Malaysia. Okay, just some side facts. Anyway, so when they got married in Singapore and had kids, they couldn't speak their own dialects. Couldn't be like one side Waman tea, Waman tea. While on the other side Tiu like a low mo a tai No, it couldn't work like that Especially when at that time The government had a nationwide campaign To stop people from speaking dialect Okay So the next best language both were comfortable with Was English So in my household We speak English Therefore, English is my first language. While well, there are others who grew up speaking Chinese or Malay or Tamil or you know whatever alien language you all speak, okay? So admittedly, while growing up, I refused to learn or speak the language. Refuse. Didn't want to learn at all. Because I felt there wasn't a need to learn it. The only time that I had no choice but to speak Chinese was in school or when talking to my grandparents which to this day I still find difficulty doing which I think is quite sad because I have so many things I want to ask them but I don't know how maybe let me show you a video from BuzzFeed that I can relate to and best elaborate my point I don't even think I could even count past 10 <laughs> It sucks when my grandmother speaks Hindi and to my dad, and I have no idea what they're saying. As I grew up, I sort of didn't want to learn Khmer as much since it didn't really apply to the world outside of my house. I refused to speak it because everyone around me was not Korean, so I told my mom, if you don't speak to me in Korean, I don't want to talk to you. The daily stuff like getting through school, doing extracurriculars, keeping grades up, unfortunately has been a higher priority in my life for survival than the language I should know. All right, you can watch the rest of the video. I'll put the link in the description. So, of course, 
I'm not as bad as them, okay? I can count to thank. Thank. 18, 19. <laughs> 10. 10, 10. <laughs> because unlike these Asian Americans, it was compulsory for us to do it in school. And I was fortunate enough to have a private Chinese tutor. Alright, so the reason that I can write and speak basic Chinese is because my mom made sure of it and I thank my mom for it. Xie mama and of course, xie lao shi. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Actually, my reading is better than my speaking because in every lesson, I was made to just read Chinese characters but I didn't even know what they meant. So, it looked like this. 这是我跟石是是是罗宾日和是和呃呃你不懂吗这个字你也不懂是词笨蛋词是我罗宾嗯跟呃石破 很好,所以答案是什么呢? So my point is, we shouldn't be too quick to judge people who cannot speak their mother tongue. Because maybe when they were younger, they were ignorant fools like myself. But of course, as we grow older now, we should start reconnecting with our roots and learn our mother tongue, you son of a... And also, people should encourage instead of discourage people who try to speak their mother tongue. For example, okay, when I speak Chinese, okay, like I will say like, Hey, uh, 等一下我们去哪里吃, uh? And then they will say, Hey, wala bro, your Chinese like shit, sia. Or, hey, how come you speak Chinese so weird, uh? got Angmo accent one. Or they would just automatically switch to English because I don't know why every time I speak Chinese people say, hey, your Chinese sounds so weird. But anyway, first of all, why my Chinese like shit? Hello, bro. Your Chinese not even that good, okay? You speak Singaporean Chinese, okay? You sound like this. 昨天我去那个store,买一个handphone charger Then看一个soft toy, wow,是一杯cute,买给我的girlfriend,我很miss他 You call that good ah bro Secondly <laughs> Secondly, why my Chinese got ang mo accent one? Hey hello, your English got abing accent I got say anything or not? And thirdly Please, when you hear somebody trying their best to speak their mother tongue to you, even though they sound like shit, do your best to reply them in the same language. To encourage them. If not, you discourage them from speaking it and they'll just be shit their whole lives. Like me, okay? A shit show. <laughs> So to conclude, while we shouldn't be too quick to judge people on their sucky mother tongue abilities, people who suck at their mother tongue should take steps to get better at it. You know, improve where you lack in, be it writing, uh, reading, uh, speaking, or just vocab in general. Because it is, after all, your mother tongue. I can elaborate further, but Maybe I'll save it for the next video because I have been talking for too long. So if you agree with what I said, hit the like button and comment down below. If you don't, don't mind me, I'm just angsty. But please also comment because I would love to hear your viewpoints. Also, if you want to check out our mother tongue slash language tests, head on to our street interviews playlist where we have so many videos where we go on the streets and tested people on their mother tongue abilities when everything was normal. Ah, I miss those days. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, okay? We got new videos every week, rain or shine, lockdown or no lockdown. Even if the world is burning, we are here to stay. Alright, that's all I have to say. You guys take care. Angsty out.